Hi everyone, thank you for joining me again today. You okay? Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty by Trish and what I want to talk about today is part two of my Blonde Burgundy, The Journey of Red Hair. Let's get into it because I can ramble all day, you guys know that. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to tell you that I found most helpful, when you first color your hair, wait a few days to wash it. I know to some people that is really not a possible thing because it just freaks them out too much, but it's just really important to let that color set in your hair as long as you can before you introduce shampoo and conditioner to your hair. Now, I like to go three to four days when I first color my hair. Um, it was hard to train myself to do that, and I really did. I was one of these people, because I do have somewhat of an oily scalp, I had to train myself to do that because it absolutely drove me crazy at first. But one thing that's going to be really helpful to you, and that is dry shampoo. I have four different dry shampoos here to show you. I've always said before that the, oops, sorry, the Herbal Essence in the Orange was my favorite dry shampoo ever. I can't find it anywhere, I, and I can't find it anywhere. So I did see this, and I grabbed this actually the other day. Nice light one to try. This was all, this is also, and this is Garnier Volume Extend Instant Modifier Dry Shampoo. This is really good, I'll say. And it doesn't have, where your hair just feels dirty, and you just, I hate that feeling. Can you tell I hate that feeling? This is a new one to me. Um, this is Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion Dry Shampoo. I really like this. Now, if you have darker hair, you do need to pull back a good bit so you don't get a real heavy white cast because the cast, this will give a heavy white cast if you're not careful. But with these dry shampoos, what I do is I spray them on my hair at night um, after I've brushed my hair when I'm getting ready to put it up in a ponytail to go to bed. I spray this on my roots. And then I wake up in the morning, put my hair up in a ponytail, then I wake up in the morning and go to wash my face, take my hair down, brush it out, and the oils are gone, and the white cast, if there was any at all, is gone. This is the one, the Batiste, it comes in a gazillion different smells, types. This one is for dark and deep brown, hint of collar. Let it set there. I, even if I was going to use my dry shampoo this morning, I would have sprayed it all through my roots as soon as I wash my face, popped my hair up in a clip or gotten it out of my face, applied my makeup, and then when I went in to do my hair, brush it, and then go. You have to give it time to absorb the oils. So just find a dry shampoo that works for you and make sure you give it enough time to do its job. So if you find a dry shampoo that you like and you can roll that into giving your hair an extra day or two of not washing it, especially when you first do it. It's really get three or four days in there before you go in with soap. And I had a friend that does, actually she's a, a hairstylist, and she told me that I would like this one. And I have had it now for a while and I absolutely love it. It gets rid of any product that is in my hair, but it is not stripping my collar out. I got, whoops, I got this Herbal Essence Cleansing Conditioner, and let me tell you first, the smell is amazing. And this is the Color Me Happy Fights Fade Out, it is an awesome cleansing conditioner. Now, because I am trying to grow my hair out healthier and longer as it stays healthy, I do like to give my hair a little bit of conditioner. So I did pick up the Color Me Happy Color Safe Conditioner. And I wash my hair with this cleansing conditioner and I rinse it. And then I take this and I put it mainly on the ends. I don't necessarily put it anywhere on my scalp or on my roots because my hair is so fine and everything. I really don't need to do that. 
but this stuff is amazing and the first time you wash your hair after you've colored it if you could use this it would be amazing you would not believe the difference and how much longer your hair is going to stay fresh and even and it's just going to be beautiful it's going, you're really going to be happy with the results if you try to use this and if you have found since I have gone red that I really need to be careful what I use to keep the color that I want it to be so I went to Penny's and I purchased these Redken Color Extend Shampoo and Conditioner Leaders. These were the cheapest way to purchase it. They are pricey. They're about $30 a piece. But Penny's always has sales. Buy one, get one half off. Plus, I could use my um, JCPenney rewards that I had earned from shopping at Sephora. It's a happy beauty circle. You shop at Sephora, you get stuff for your face, you go to Penny's, you get stuff for your hair with a big discount because you can use your rewards. It's a beautiful thing. The Redken Shampoo and Conditioner, I really, really liked, um, but I wanted to find a drugstore version that was, so I wanted to really be careful that I found one that I didn't, because of course I'm going to try it on my hair before I suggest it to you guys. And to be totally honest, I like this better than I like the Redken. And these were $4.99 at Target. Maybe $5.99. I don't remember. But these were under 6 bucks at Target a piece. And that is the Garnier Fructose Color Shield Complete Defense. These are awesome, you guys. Especially if you have red hair and you need something that is going to be oh so protective. This is awesome. When I do my shampoos, I don't just do straight shampoo. I do dilute it. These shampoos are so concentrated. You do not just need to use these straight up shampoos. What I do is water bottle. Now I've already mixed it. And this is what I have left over. I fill it up to here. I put a big glop of the shampoo. In. I shake it up and then I put it on my hair and just wash it really good. And it's, I mean, it's perfect. It does not weigh your hair down. My hair actually looks better because I'm not doing a bunch of buildup. For what shampoo brand you use, it is so concentrated, dilute it. I usually do 75 to 25, 75% water, 25% shampoo, and that still gives you plenty of cleaning power. But that's also going to do less damage to your hair. Your shampoo is the most damaging thing you do to your hair. Shampoo does more damage than heat tools. My hair did not start getting healthy until I went to washing it less. I know it sounds crazy, but I seriously did the test when Toddy was talking about it, and it is so true. My hair stopped falling out. I was losing handfuls and handfuls of hair when I was washing it every day. So I went to doing it less. I started diluting my shampoo. My hair does not fall out anymore. It's just amazing. So try it. Try it. I'm telling you, you will be amazed. Now there is one shampoo that I do suggest you do not dilute. And that is if you're going to use a color enhancing shampoo. I do have this. This is Shimmering Light Shampoo for Brunette and Red. Woo! Right there. Can you see? So it's, you know, kind of a... Albany Collar Shampoo. Now, I did have a really sweet subscriber tell me that she uses the John Frieda Red, um, and she swears by it. And I have not tried that myself. I want to try it, so I will let you know. That I have been doing that I think is really helping is um, spray in conditioners or leave in conditioners. Healthy Sexy Hair. Um, leave-in conditioner. If you want a drugstore version, I would suggest the Infus Infusium 23. Um, and I saturate my hair with one of these guys, and then I put my hair up in the towel. And then I go in and I put on my body lotion, my self-tanner, whatever I'm going to be doing, and um, let my hair towel dry for a good while with that in it. I take <clears throat> my hair out of the towel. But what I would really suggest, even more than a leave-in conditioner, is to make a trip up to Sally's and get you some of this Hawaiian Silky. I know you guys are tired of hearing me talk about it, 
but I'm telling you, if you do anything chemical to your hair, this is awesome stuff. It is in a spray bottle, but it comes out like a lotion. So spray it into your hand and then rub your hands together and then apply. It's a 14 in one. I do have a separate video just on this. I think it's $3.99 or $4.99 at Sally's and it will really make your collar hold and look freshly done and even. So even using the 14 in one Hawaiian Silky, I still recommend that you use a thermal protectant. Now there are two that I use when I go to blow dry my hair. Drugstore Tresemme Thermal Creations. This is awesome. It's, I do not like to use this before I use a curling or a straightening iron. I like this better before I do a blowout. This is another good one. You can use it on wet hair. Regis Design Get It Pressed. This is really, really nice. I, so I spray this on my wet hair. I brush it through and I don't have to worry about it. I do like to use this before I heat style my hair. Um, so it is a more versatile if you're wanting a two-in-one bang for your buck kind of a thing. So this is a good one. They are what I use before I curl or straighten my hair. They are the best bang for your buck if you have hair that is not wanting to curl, not having a shine. Both of these will give it hold, they'll give it shine. You can spray it through your hair, brush it through, or you can do section at a time for more control. And the first one is She Chia uh, 44 Iron Guard. This is awesome. It's what I use today. I love the smell of it. It has almost like a men's cologne kind of a aroma. I love it. It holds everything. My hair looks shiny. This is awesome stuff. It's a real close tie to this one, which has always been my favorite. It's Paul Mitchell's Hot Off the Press. You spray your hair, curl it, straighten it. It will stay that way until you wash it. It is amazing. It is great. I love it. I will always have one of this. I will probably always have both of these. So definitely good investments, and it's going to protect your hair from those heat tools. Let's talk deep conditioning. Even if you have fine hair, it's going to hold that collar, it's going to enhance that collar, it's going to look the make the collars look even and blend and beautiful. You really have to use a deep conditioner at least once a week, at least once a week. I have um, from the drugstore, and I consider Sally's kind of a drugstore version, I love the one and only hydrating mask that comes in a little flat brown. This is pretty much an equivalent and it was a couple dollars less and that is the Proclaim Argan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask. This is a really good one. I like it a lot. I would repurchase it when I get done. It has a really nice smell and it makes your hair feel so soft but it doesn't weigh it down too much for those girls that or guys that have fine hair that doesn't want to do anything if it has too much conditioning in it. Then a higher end this is my holy grail. Just is like it breathes new life into your hair. This is the most amazing hair mask I have ever used. I love it. And my only other advice to you is, especially for you that are like myself and have decided to go red, um, don't wash your hair as much. Please still shower, but don't wash your hair as much. It's really going to make the biggest difference, not only in your collar staying looking maintained and even and just beautiful. It's going to also make your hair healthier. Dilute your shampoo. Use the cleansing conditioners if at all you can in between. The dry shampoos can be your friend. Thing And it's a big thing and this is probably my least favorite thing of maintenance for red hair and that is do not use warm to hot water on your hair. It is going to bring the collar out so much. It's just not worth it. Cold, as cold as you can stand. What I do personally is I jump in the shower. I get it to where I can tolerate it. 
and I wash my hair, use the cleansing conditioner, use the diluted shampoo, or if you're using the color enhancing shampoos, wash my hair, condition it. I always have those disposable shower caps that I've shown you guys before. I put that over my hair with the conditioner in it and then I turn my hot water on and then I wash my body, shave, do whatever you're going to do and then right when I'm ready to get out of the shower I turn the hot water way down again and I get it even colder than before. So cold that I probably I can't even stand all the way in. I'm like leaning back over and rinsing my hair out because the water's so cold I don't want it on my back. So I know it's crazy, but I'm telling you, it's going to seal that collar in. And it's worth it, but it's a pain. I hate cold water on my back. It's mm, so, but it really does make a big difference. And make sure you protect it from the heat with heat protectants. I know it sounds like a lot, but once you get into a cycle and you get yourself trained, then it really is, it's so worth it. It really is. The cold rinses still get me. I use my diluted shampoo once a week. I use my cleansing conditioner once or twice a week. I use dry shampoo in between. So I'm not really having to rinse that many times, but oh, I just can't stand it. Okay, guys, I think that's it. This is just what has worked for me. But feel free to leave a comment if I forgot something or if you have a question, feel free to ask that question. I hope this helped. I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. God bless.